talked about architectural retopology techniques. And one of these techniques is using remesh modifier, which is weird because we actually, as architects, we I think is that retopology is it that necessary, right? No, it is really necessary in some cases, like the case that we are going to see now. So what I will do now is to select one of the floors, walls, um, just the interior wall. It has to be co-joined. Uh, as we are going to see right now and uh, it is preferably to be non-manifold but uh, the nice thing about this uh, modifier which is remesh that you can play with non-manifold as we are going to see now and I will join all the floor uh, wall here which I want to apply a material with a displacement on it so uh, we will go for materials and have a material that does have a displacement. And here you go. Look how horrible it is. Let's get that sky for it so we can see it. Or we just make the scene to be uh, nice. Okay, let's go to the bright side. Do you see how the topology uh, look like? Really horrible. And even if we have a higher resolution so we can see the um, entire displacement working, we'll find that it, it does have really bad artifacts. I know that the scale of the tiles is quite small, but even if we enlarged it, it we still have this problem. And so we will just go for 0.25 or something. I think it will be good. Um, just to demonstrate a brick wall. Okay, and uh, you will find that its artifacts are intact and we need to solve them. Yeah, we, it may not be so obvious in some cases, but in most cases we really need to make a retopology. So how we can do that in just one step? So we will just turn off subdivision surface right now and we will go for remesh. Well, this remesh isn't bad, which is voxel. And it works with non-manifold meshes really well. Not so bad, actually. But we have another way to remesh, which is sharp. <laughs> it uh, it depends on how the mesh is big or small, but when you increase the resolution, you will find magic happening. <laughs> wow, the mesh is amazing. As you can see, this mesh is really suitable for our displacement, so you will just apply this. You can of course keep the UV by UV project, but this will have a longer story. So we will go for subdivision surface and to keep it simple and of course we will have a nice UV for it about 0.25 as we have mentioned before and let's see how it will look like look how clean it is now really nice <laughs> this is how the topology has to look like and the best thing about that that you have a sharp mesh you, you don't have this uh, kind of uh, curvy uh, meshes that uh, happens in the remeshing when we use the um, voxel method you can see the fillets are quite obvious and you can do uh, another remesh above the remesh that you actually did but it, it's a little bit pointless but it's okay but uh, I really wanted to uh, try if I made a voxel remesh and uh, added a remesh again but sharp mode with seven Octa 3 okay well it did give the same sharp edges that we had before but it will be a little bit less accurate maybe uh, as you can see that this a little bit had some you know uh, you know uh, some kind of uh, bulging happened but very slight uh, when we can need that in some cases this meshes doesn't come up with the remeshing just from one click as we have done. Um, it, it may need some more processing, if we can say. So you can retopologize using the box remesh first, then with the sharp uh, oct tree, or oct tree, if we can say. Uh, and it will give you nice results that you can fix easier than having this terrible mesh that we had before which has triangles like this one 
really horrible and you can fix it like this just adding remesh sharp and you are done this one just worked with four it doesn't need seven and so on it depends on how big the mesh is if we join this you will find that oct uh, oct4 is, is still working but the squares are getting larger the more you join the more you need as you can see we need more so you had six like this and so on so before you go you need to make sure that all the meshes are appearing because maybe in some intersections it won't work but in most cases it really works like charm as you can see you may ask does this work with curves well not so much but it does and um, what if we have a wall like this i know it looks <laughs> quite off uh, but uh, it does the trick let's make a remesh for it like that and the voxel remesh does work sharp mm, as you can see not bad it it doesn't look so bad actually you can just increase points in, in case if you want to have more resolution for this um and there is another thing you can fix this spacing by the way how you go to edit preferences loop tools these loop tools are very important i actually recommend that you activate anything that relates to word tools except for the ones that i actually deactivated this was deactivated because it doesn't work anymore and also this uh, because i don't use grease pencil too much and i feel bdt is a little bit useless i didn't find a good use of it so for this how to uh, to control the spacing you will just pick the lines that you want to space out uh, evenly you can just pick the loops like that uh, if if necessary you can just try out uh, to have the pa uh, parallel but i i think that the topology is that good to have a parallel working so loop tools and space and you will have a neat curve that has uh, a chance to be subdivided you can subdivide that uh, but you will find some artifacts on the angles so to fix this you will have to make an offset loop you can make an inset or something here it is to avoid these uh, bisky uh, little uh, polygons so you can make a subdivide and you will find it cleaner look how different it is now you just added a loop that uh, does uh, support the subdivision uh, for a smoother looking topology uh, it looks fake but it really does the work so here we go this is for the remesh and how you can deal with the meshes that comes out from it uh, hopefully that we can do more videos about how we can retopologize our CAD models uh, in the near future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.